I am so thankful for this entire week of broadcasts, but at the same time, I'm a little bit sad. Of course, this has been our Thanksgiving week of broadcasts here on Bible Track Echoes, and we've had the opportunity to hear from dozens of you, people just like you, that have responded, letting us know what they're thankful for, and now here we are drawing to the close of this week. Now, we might have to do this again in the near future. Maybe we'll have like a middle of the year, like sometime in, I don't know, May or so, April, May time frame, we'll have another week of Thanksgiving because I can already tell you, I'm not going to be able to get to all of the responses. We've had so many people text in and say, I'm thankful for. Now, there's still time though, and maybe we'll just have to include you in the next week of Thanksgiving. But if you'd like to text in, let me know what you're thankful for. There is the slimmest of chances that your response will be read on air right now. Here's the phone number, 309-316-7240. If you have a question, a comment, a concern, if you'd like more information about our ministry, Bible Tracks Incorporated, or you'd just like to share what you're thankful for, text me, 3 309- Zero nine three one six seven two four zero. Now we're going to start off strong and we're going to keep going. I got through a bunch of them yesterday. I have a lot more to do today. We're going to go as far as we can in the time that we have allotted to us. We have, first of all, I'm going to try to get this name right Aboleji. Aboleji from King, North Carolina. Am I saying that right? If, if you're listening right now, Miss Abelogi, if you wouldn't mind texting me, that's, that's kind of how it's spelled, but I'll tell you what, I'm not great with genealogies in the Bible, and I might be butchering your name. If that's the case, I am so very sorry, but I can read what you're thankful for. She says this, I'm thankful for God's goodness and faithfulness. What a joy. What a joy. We start off strong on the East Coast, King, North Carolina. We go to the Midwest, Campbellsburg, Indiana. Danielle says, I'm thankful, first of all, for my salvation. I'm thankful it was free because I could have never earned it on my own. That reminds me of one of our core values. The gospel is free, and so are our tracks. Our gospel tracks are free. Why? Because the gospel is free. And for the last 80 years, we've been spreading the gospel around the world through gospel tracks. But Miss Danielle says, I'm thankful for my salvation and the fact that it was free. If you're trying to work your way to heaven, you'll be working for all eternity, and you'll still never get there. She continues, I'm thankful that all of my immediate family parents and six siblings are saved and serving the Lord. And I'm thankful for preachers and other godly friends that God has given me that help me stay sane in this crazy world. Miss Danielle in Indiana, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough that you would respond and let me know what you are thankful for. Let's continue on. Let's see. We had North Carolina. We had Indiana. Where are we going next? Let's see. Next, Margaret in Illinois, not too far from Indiana. She says, I am so thankful and blessed beyond measure. I'm thankful that God is almighty and has everything in control. I'm thankful for God's love. His, he gave his only begotten son to die for my sins. I'm thankful for the obedience of Christ to willingly obey God, his father, and go to the cross in my place. What a joy to be reminded of the fact that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know. Let's continue on here. We went to Indiana, Illinois, North Carolina. How about Tennessee, I believe? Brother Adam, a good friend of mine in Tennessee, what does he have to say? I'm thankful for God's word, Adam says, and the way he so clearly speaks to us through it if we just open our hearts to hear it. That's such a blessing, to be reminded about God's word. Let me ask you, have you read God's word? Have you read the Bible today? Have you read it this week? Have you read it this month? When was the last time you cracked the cover? You say, I carry my Bible to church every Sunday morning. How about beyond that? I know for me, if I only ate one day out of every week, I would be a sad puppy. I love food way too much. You know what? We should love God's word even more. You can't survive on one meal a week. Why would you do the same thing with your Bible? Be thankful for God's word. 
Adam, thank you so much. Let's continue on here. We have, who's next? Paul from Phoenix, Arizona says this. I'm thankful for my wife and family. Even though things are difficult right now, I'm thankful that God has blessed us and he gives me the strength to endure, grow, and use wisdom. Keep using that wisdom, Paul. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate that. Let's see. We're continuing on here. We have James in Eastman, Wisconsin. I'm thankful for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my church, the group of people I get to fellowship and serve with on a regular basis, my family, my wife of almost 30 years, eight children, and four granddaughters to date, just to name a few things I'm thankful for. James, thank you so much. We have Jean in Palmyra, Missouri. Jean, thank you so much for letting us know that you're thankful for God's amazing love and grace. What a joy to hear that. Michael from Cleveland, Georgia. I didn't know there was a Cleveland in Georgia. He says this, I'm thankful for my family and that all of us love the Lord Jesus and serve him. That is something to be thankful for. Sherry in Vancouver, Washington, up tucked in the corner there. I'm thankful for the Bible, its prophecy, and its fulfillment by Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection. I'm looking forward to his soon return for us, his bride. I'm also thankful for all the blessings and freedoms that we Americans get to enjoy. I regret taking them for granted for so long because it seems we're losing them very quickly. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Let's continue on here. We have Rola from Albuquerque, New Mexico. She says, I just hung up for my usual morning conversation with my friend Barbara. She and I are in our 80s and we make it a point to speak to each other every morning so that someone in the world knows that we are okay. God has blessed me so much with my church family. I'm thankful for them, as well as my natural family. And for all of these years that I've lived in a free country, I am so grateful. She says as well, she's grateful and thankful for our ministry. God bless you, she concludes that message. Miss Rola, thank you, thank you. What a blessing to hear from you all the way in New Mexico. We only have a few minutes left, so let's hit the lightning round, all right? Miss Susan, Wonder Lake, Illinois says, I'm thankful for so many things. My salvation... My transplanted heart, music that helps glorify God, technology that spreads God's word around the world. I've got to pause for a second here. I said we're going to the lightning round, but Susan, I'm thankful for the fact that God gave you a transplanted heart as well. The fact that you're still able to be with us, that's absolutely amazing. And the fact that you are willing to text in and let us know that you're thankful, that really means a lot to us. Let's continue on here. Maryland from Asheville, Pennsylvania says this, I'm thankful for so many things, but number one and foremost is having salvation through Jesus Christ. That through his death and his precious blood, I can have eternal life because of his sacrifice for me and for all mankind. I'm also thankful for parents who took me to church from newborn on and for family and millions of blessings through my life. What a joy to hear, Miss Marilyn in Pennsylvania. What a blessing. Trisha in Sequim, Sequim, Washington, Washington State. I'm thankful for the promise of glory. <laughs> that is a good promise, Miss Trisha. Thank you so much for that. Let's continue on here. We're almost nearing the end of our week of Thanksgiving. Miss Naomi in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. We're going all over the place, back and forth, both coasts. I'm thankful for how, she says, he provides my needs so lovingly. Wow. Let me think about that for just a moment. He provides my needs so lovingly. He doesn't do it begrudgingly. He doesn't do it because he has to. He doesn't do it because a sense of duty or the fact that he promised us in the Bible that he'd provide for us. He does it so lovingly. Naomi in Pennsylvania, thank you so very much for that. Let's move on to Esther. She is in Lumberton, Mississippi. This is the first one from Mississippi this week. She says, I'm thankful for my precious Savior, the one who died on the cross for you and I, the one who did all the work for me on the cross. Then he said, it is finished, John 19.30. I don't have to wonder, did I do enough or say the right thing in a prayer here on earth? No, all because when God drew me, I went. I put my faith in what he did, and I believed in him. No man can come except the Father which has sent me draw him. John 6, 44. 
Here's a familiar couple of verses she included. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John three sixteen and 17. I'm thankful that he came and died, but what I'm really thankful for, three days later he arose again and he lives even now. Now she included a couple more verses that we don't have time for at this moment, but Miss Esther, thank you for that incredibly well thought out text back. I, I can't tell you what it means to me that you would take the time and put that into it, put into that there. We're, we're very close to the end. I have time for one or two more. Miss Margaret in Cleveland, Texas says, I'm thankful that Christ died on the cross to save me, and I'm also thankful for my health. I have been blessed. This might be the last one here. Crossville, Alabama, Brother Amos says, I'm thankful for my salvation and the salvation of my children, my health and my wealth as an heir of the King of Kings. Brother Amos, what a great reminder. And that, though I don't want it to be, would be a great way for us to sign off here in just a moment. You've been with us through this entire week of Thanksgiving. I want to say thank you. Would you take a few moments and ponder all that God has done for you? Will you pause for just a moment? Hit that reset button and tell God, thank you. Let's get practical. Would you take a moment as soon as I sign off and I say, thank you for listening and, and all of those things, would you pause for just a moment and truly talk to God? Tell him what you are thankful for. I've got so much to thank him for. He's been so very good to me. And if you're honest, he's been so good to you as well. As we conclude this week, I want to say a personal thank you to each and every person that has texted, to those of you that will text me. Of course, you can still text in. I still want to hear what you're thankful for. Text me at 309-316-7240. But as we sign off here in just a moment, let me encourage you, go to BibleTracksInc.org. Get one of our Christmas tracks. Get more than a few. Get 25, 50 or so and pass them out this Christmas season. One of our best ones is called the characters of Christmas. I'd love for you to give someone else the gift of salvation. Introduce them to Jesus. Would you please have a great day for his glory? Would you stay thankful this week? Thank you. Thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Track Echoes, a ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of all of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. That's 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. A faster way to contact us is to go to our website at BibleTracksInc.org. That's BibleTracksInc.org. There you will find more information about our ministry and details on how you can support Bible Tracks Incorporated. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.